hello 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 and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how i make this tutu anklet or ruffle anklet whatever you want to call it it goes around your ankle um or the top of your sock um so i'm going to show you how i make this really quick so you're going to need some ribbon so this is one and a half inch and the width of the ribbon is totally up to you the width however long you want it is totally up to you this is 12 feet which is four yards um, and I'm doing this for a toddler and typically I try to use five yards, but, um, since this came in 12 yards, I mean, typically I try to use five yards, but since this came in four yards, I was like, I'm just going to use this instead of trying to piece some together or whatever. And it, I mean, there's really no exact measurements. You can use as many yards or as less yards as you would like. The more you use, the fluffier it is, the less you use, the less fluffy. So um so you would need some ribbon and some tool i prefer to use the three inch tool versus the six because i don't like to do all that cutting at the end but it's your preference you would need elastic now i i should have well i don't have any black non-roll elastic so i'm using this white you can use the braided elastic but it's just too uh i don't know the word but i don't like to break the last i prefer the non-roll and i don't have any black so i'm using the white and for the toddler size i have a six inch piece of elastic i will leave some measurements down below you know so you can you know like a little starting point or reference point but you can basically use whatever size elastic you want however much ribbon you want how much tool you want that's just i'll just leave some measurements down you know as like a guide a starting point um you need some scissors you need a lighter you need some safety pins and i have these clips but this is this step is optional and i'm going to show you guys what i do with these clips but it's, it's really optional so the first thing i want to do is get my tool ready so i typically um just let it hang on the floor right and i just grab it so this is what i use the clips for now i like to fold my tool i like to do everything at once i don't like to sew a casing and then come back or sew a channel whatever it's called and then come back and sew my um ribbon so i fold my tool in half and i use these clips um you know to keep it folded i have did this a few times and when i first started i was just you know folding it as i go and it come out all like I had to start over so many times. It just didn't, didn't look right. So this is what I do. Now, since I know um, this is 12 feet or five yards, um, I could just go ahead and get this tool, take the tool off the roll, just go ahead and cut the length I need. But I find it easier to leave it on the roll. It's easier for me to handle and control while it's still on the roll. So again, I just take these clips, I fold it in half, and every few inches I just put a clip on it and I just do that, right? Very, very simple. And like I said, this is optional because you can sew your channel for your casing and then come back and sew your ribbon. But since I like to do it all at one time, I find this so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna finish uh, clipping this and then I will be back. Okay, so I have my tool folded and clipped, right? So I have that ready. And here I have my ribbon. So you're gonna seal your ends on your ribbon with your lighter, like so. And I'm just gonna drop that, let that fall to the floor. So. For my ribbon, I line my ribbon up with my presser foot, just like that. Whoops, that. Oh. I line my ribbon up with my presser foot, just like that. So, for my tool, uh-oh, where's my top piece at? <laughs> ah, where's the top of it at, y'all? I done folded so much, I done lost the top. Oh, there we go. All right. So that's why I have this piece of tape right here. And I have this at the one fourth inch. And that's where I'm going to line my tool up. Um, right there. So I like to put my ribbon on the bottom and my tool on top.
just like that. All right, and then we're gonna start sewing when I find my foot. Uh, what you call it? I don't know. The gas pedal. All right, do a few stitches, do a back stitch, and then I'm just gonna sew, making sure I keep my tool lined up here and my ribbon lined up. Um, So I'm going to sew this and then I'll be back. Just gonna cut this off my excess tool cut that off seal this all right take my little clips off And I'm telling y'all, these clips or, you know, safety pins or, I mean, straight pins or whatever you want to use to hold it, it definitely um, helps a lot. It makes a big difference, especially if you're not like me. I'm, I'm, I still consider myself a beginner sewer. Um, so it just, it, it really, really helps. It really, really makes a difference, especially if you want your stuff to be, you know, neat. I dropped it. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get ready to put our elastic through. Right? So, for the elastic, that's what we need our two pins for. We're going to put one on each end. All right? One on each end. It on there it really don't matter what side you start on and then you're just gonna you're just gonna feed it through well if I get it open I'm gonna feed it through Why can't I get it open? Come oh, stop playing with me. Okay, so <clears throat> you're just gonna feed it through like this. Trying to keep it straight so nothing turns. And what helps me with doing that is to not let so much bunch up at a time. That way I can like you know, keep it straight. It don't always work out like that, but that's what helps me anyway. All right. So, and then what I'm going to do before I get too far down in here, because the smaller the piece of elastic is that you work with, for me anyway, I'm talking about me, I'm talking about other people. The smaller the piece of elastic, the harder it is at the end to put those, sew those two ends together, right? So this is what I do. So now that I got it started, right, I'm going to take the pin off that elastic. I'm going to pin it to this for a minute real quick. 
I'm gonna pin it right here. Just to hold it in place real quick. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go ahead and sew that piece of elastic to this ribbon. Because again, for me, it's so hard for me to work with these little small pieces of elastic. So I'm just going to put a few stitches in there across there to hold it in place. I mean, some people tie theirs off at the end. I've seen some people put hot glue. I don't know how that's going to work. When I use thicker pieces of elastic, it's easy for me to sew it together. But like I said, for this little elastic, babe, I be struggling. And I don't like doing nothing that's hard. So, I'm just going to put a few stitches in there, go back and forth a few times like that. And that's it. Just like that. Alright, so I'm going to finish feeding this elastic through, and then I will be back. All right, now that I got my elastic in, I'm about to do this in the same way I did the other one. Yeah, I do not want that elastic to come out because then I'm going to have to um, go back and, and, and uh, feed it through again. I don't got time for that. <laughs> so that's why I have to put this pin on there. Because, <laughs> baby. Sometimes, sometimes it's like it's is it's harder to cut with the small ones, but the big ones should just be should be. I need to find my other little small snips. All right, so then I'm gonna take my two ends when I find my other one. It's over here somewhere. I'm gonna take my two ends. Is that it? So I'm going to take my two ends like this. And just like this. Right sides together. Right sides together, y'all. And then I'm just going to sew all the way down. Just sew them together like this. you want to try to use uh, elastic that's going to match you know if I were to use white tool or white yeah if I would have white tool um, the white elastic would have been fine but like I said for the black I didn't have the right one and I need to make these right now I have to send this to my granddaughter she's got to start school in a few days and I need to put her stuff in the mail mm -hmm. But she know me, me got her. I'm always sending some, some good stuff. I got a whole box in there. And then I got her some, some uh, sneakers, some J's that's uh, white with black and purple and white. Um, so, yeah. Yep. Now, the only thing about about uh, when you do it like this, you definitely want to make sure your ribbon is, um, you ain't sewed it too far down because you still want to cover that gap because where you sewed that elastic at, it ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, it ain't going to move. So, but you just you spread it out enough, you know what I'm saying, to spread it out. So, there you have it. So now, I 
she has two. I got to make some more too, but these two is just going to be for now. All right, until next time, y'all have a great one.